Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Brickmania Delaney. And today we're going to go over another Star Wars Lego, one of my uh, very favorites. It was from the series Star Wars Rebels. It's just a real nice one to build. And uh, it's set number 75106, and it's entitled the Imperial Assault Carrier. And it has 1,216 pieces in this one. But uh, it's quite unique, I think. It looks a little different than any other Star Wars ship you, you build. I think it is anyway. Uh, it's, just, it's just neat looking. It just has its own style and look. And uh, it's a real fun one to build. And it's very, uh, very sturdy. This one could be played with by kids. You know, not to fear breaking it unless you drop it or something. But a lot of them sometimes are kind of flimsy filling and stuff. Uh, I just recently built the Tanta 4, and it it's just not one that I would recommend kids to play with because it's uh, it's kind of loosey-goosey, I think it is anyway. <clears throat> but this one here is a real nice one. It's it's really sturdy, and uh, it comes with, you build four of these little TIE fighters that go along with it right here. You can see these. They look quite unique. Uh, you can actually attach these on the bottom of the ship. There's four of them, and there's four places on the bottom that, that are actually used for either landing gear or you can attach these TIE fighters to the bottom, and there's buttons on the back that you can push, and it'll actually drop the TIE fighters off like bombs or, you know, like it's out in space, and they're attached to the bottom of the ship, and then they can, they can just fly away. But uh, I just kind of always have them sitting beside of it on display. I just like the looks of it kind of like they're flanking flanking the main ship but uh, we'll move these off to the side right here we'll get a better look at the ship here it's really a nice ship and it does come with a come with a handle it raises up right here and you can actually pick it up and carry it around and then of course the cockpit it closes and opens up and they got the pilot in there you can see him sitting in there you can either take him out or leave him in there. Shut that. And it has a spin around backwards here. You can see the back of it. Pick him up. There we go. There's the look at the back of the engines. And they're they've got blue, blue uh, clear Legos on them to represent the engines. You know, flying in space and, and being on. Uh, but you actually, you turn this one right here, the center engine, and if you watch on top, the stud shooters will turn. See that? Actually, there's two on top and two on the bottom. And they turn in tandem. And, uh, of course, they got the little triggers right on top. You push that little trigger, and that'll, that'll shoot the studs. And then these buttons right here, if you see these buttons right here, you shove in on those. There's two there, and there's two over here on the other side. That will, uh, if you have the TIE fighters attached to the ship, that will, uh, that will drop them off. Let's move these over here. There's the other two. And we have these two right here. And then also, we've got these shooters right here. You touch these and bend them down. They're about that long and they'll shoot out the side right there. And yeah, let's spin him around. Let's move these over here. And we'll get a look at the side of him here. Spin him around. It's, it's quite a big ship. It's, it's a nice one. Move it back a little bit. There we go. He's over here and he's here. We've got these over here. So I've got one of the men just standing on the wings. He's out there inspecting the wings. But uh, like I showed you, the uh, the cockpit opens up. And you can take the pilot out, put him in there right there. And extra bombs for the lasers on the side are stored on the side of the ship. And it opens up right over here. See how it opens up? 
and they're right inside of here. And up the other side. See there how that slides out? Slide this on out. There we go. See there? There's your two extra bombs. You can store them inside there. And they just hide away in the ship right there. They just slide right back in there. Just like that. And you shut these sides. One on each side the same way. And then they're going. They're hidden in there. And this, this right here is your radar dish. For communicating with your other ships out in space. Now the top of it lifts off also and you can store more of your men inside of that. So let me uh, lift this off right here. See there how that comes off? You just lift that off. And there's a, you see the inside what it looks like right there. It's your radar dish. And there's the inside of the ship. You can put extra men in there if you want to. There's two little seats in there with, with like a control panel that uh, they can look at and whatever. Closer shot of it in there. You see right there, there's a like a little control panel and two extra seats right there. Of course, you can see the handle now inside there, too. The handle's right there. And let's get a look at the bottom of him here. And there's the bottom. And there's the four things that holds the TIE Fighters if you want to put them on the bottom of the ship. And they're also landing gear. But it's just quite a, it's a quite a unique looking, looking vessel, and I just, I really like this one. And you know, you can either put these on the bottom, or you can leave them beside of it. You can fly them around, like that there. These don't take very long to build. Ain't much to these right here. They're just kind of a representation of a Tie Fighter. You see them flying around there. And then the top just sits right back down on top of it. I'll show you. That's it. It just sits right down on there. And then you can reach the handle right through here and pick up on the handle. And we'll spin it back around. Put these off on each side when you display it. Got there. I just think it's it's a quite unique little ship, but uh, it's for the uh, Star Wars Rebels. Used to be cartoon on TV. I'm not sure if it's still on or not. I don't think it is, but uh, that's what it's about. And it's set number seven five one zero six, and there's one thousand two hundred and sixteen pieces. And they have the age rating as uh, 9 to 14. But uh, I think the younger ones could work on this one too. Uh, it's not real hard to build. It takes a little while though. There's a, quite a lot of pieces in it. But it is very sturdy. Uh, the younger ones could play with it. No fear of, you know, tearing it up too bad unless they drop it on a concrete floor or something. Okay. Now that's all for this video today, and that was the Imperial Assault Carrier, the set number 75106, and uh, make sure you, uh, if you like the video, put the thumbs up, and if not, just let me know, put the thumbs down, and leave some comments in the bottom, and I'll, I'll do what uh, I can on the next video, but uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, Brickmania Delaney. And we'll get some more videos out. And we're going to check out now. 
You all have a good day. Talk to you later.